this is my March favourites video. Uh, only a few things to show you today, I don't want to make it too much of a long video, but there's a few things I've been really enjoying using this month, um, and I want to share them with everyone. So, uh, first up is, well, it's a bit of a, a trio from Gemma Kid. Firstly, the Light As Air foundation. Um, I'm absolutely loving this at the moment. Um, because the weather's been a bit all over the place and up until recently it's been really cold I get really dry skin and no matter what I do, how many moisturisers, how much exfoliation I do um, my skin stays really dry and even if it's sort of feels smooth and moisturised as soon as I put foundation on it sort of like sticks to all the dry patches, looks flaky and horrible and it really gets me down um, but what I found is this is the only foundation that does not do that it's the only foundation that doesn't sort of go like into my dry skin and make it look really flaky and horrible so I'm absolutely loving it also it's really nice, it's a very light texture um, but the coverage isn't that sheer, you still get a good coverage with it and it's buildable um, so absolutely loving this, been using it all the time in fact I'm running out already um, and I've only had it a couple of months so this is definitely going to be repurchased so with that is this which is the Gemma Kid foundation brush um, I absolutely love this for applying the foundation I also sometimes put it on if I need sort of not so much coverage, I only want light coverage with the, um, one of the sort of cosmopolitan version of the Beauty Blender sponge, but mainly with this foundation brush. Um, I love it, it makes everything go on flawlessly, it works really good with the foundation. Um, yeah, I think it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, and then the third Gemma Kid product is this, which is the Dewy Glow All Over Radiance Cream. Uh, it's called Iced Gold, and oh, can't get it open. It's like a highlighter cream kind of a bit of a shimmer to it. Um, it's very pale with slightly gold tinge um, and I just apply it on the tops of my cheekbones um, sometimes on my brow bone um, and it just makes you look so glowy, so healthy and radiant but without being sparkly or glittery. Um, absolutely loving this. It's a bit like, I think it's quite similar to the highlighter that Topshop had um, relatively recently that was kind of like gold and sparkling. I quite wanted to get that and didn't and then missed out on it so I'm really glad I got this. Um, and also it's great because it's got a mirror in as well so you can sort of take it with you to do your makeup. I usually use it as the mirror in my makeup bag. So loving that. Also a little bit goes a long way. It's going to last absolutely ages. Um, next up another piece of makeup and it's this which is the MUA um, liquid eyeliner. <laughs> um, words escaping me, um, in waterproof black. I absolutely love this. It's only a pound and it's pretty much the best eyeliner I've ever used in my entire life. Um, it just stays put completely. Um, it lasts through rain, through crying, through sweating. I once put it on, I think at seven in the morning, went to uh, four hours in a row of uh, lectures at uni then went and um, sort of sat in the, the hot library after cycling through the rain to get there uh, and then afterwards had three hours of uh, really quite sweaty dance rehearsals and it was perfect at 10 o'clock at night still. So I'd highly, highly recommend that. The only downside to it is that sometimes the brush can pull through the eyeliner a little bit and sort of like leave gaps in it but you only need to go over it like once and it fills in the gaps and I think for a pound I don't mind spending like an extra minute or so doing my eyeliner. Absolutely brilliant, I think everyone should get it. Um, and then finally is this moisturising serum, it's a super boost moisturising serum from Elemis. Um, comes in a little tube like this. I got this about a month ago and since my skin has been so much better I've had less problems with like the flakiness that I was talking about with the foundation uh, it's making my skin smoother, it's just brilliant um, using that every night and in the morning as well sometimes before I put uh, the moisturiser on and I'm absolutely loving it, really really moisturising, really lives up to its claims so I'll definitely be repurchasing this again I think because I'm shooting through this as well uh, so that's it um, just five products to show you that I've been really loving. Uh, let me know what you've been enjoying this month, if you've got any recommendations or anything like that. Uh, drop me a comment and I'll see you soon.